So our next video, we're going to be talking about how to use the show, describe, explain, and set commands. So let's look at show first. Uh, show is a way that you can examine tables, databases, columns, look at the data types. So you want to find out things about your tables, about your data that's inside of there. The show command is great for that. Now describe works as kind of a synonym for show. Explain is a keyword that's going to be used to um, describe your queries. So there's a keyword explain. We're going to look at some examples of how to do that. Uh, you want to run a query and then you want to examine the query to see how it's being run, see how it's working, maybe figure out how efficient it is. Explain is going to help us with that. And set is going to let us actually create variables, which in the future we're going to use inside of things called functions and stored procedures. Okay, so let's jump into our database. I have, uh, I'm on the server. I'm not inside of any database right now. So let's take a look at the show command. Just start with that. So I can say show databases. Just running that. When I do that, I get a result. Here's my record set. And it's a list of all the tables. You can see over here, here's the tables. And here's the list of tables. If you have any temporary tables, just it's worth noting that those will not appear in this list. I know in the series I haven't talked about those yet, but I will talk about views and temporary tables later on. So we have show databases. We can do um, show columns. Now, when you say you want to show columns, you need to say from which database you want to do it. So show columns. Oh, sorry, tables. We'll start with that one. Show tables from movies. This is going to give me a list, and then we're going to look at columns inside of the database. So we'll start with this one. There we go. Here's the list of tables, and we can see, yes, those are the tables that exist inside of here. Then you can look at this and say, okay, I want to look at the columns inside of there. So I'll leave both of them in here. We'll say show databases. That's our first command. Show tables is our next one. Now, this is going to be an interesting one. This will let, let us talk about some uh, other things you have to keep in mind. Show columns from shows. Now, shows is one of the tables that's inside of my movies database. If I run this, I'm going to get an error. No database selected. Okay. The reason that no database is selected is we're sitting at the top level. We're here at the server. So we can do one of two things. One is we can say movies.shows, just like you do um, table name dot column name in a select query. You can say database dot table like this to target that. So the one that fails is just show columns from shows. This is fails. And there we are. So our show columns from movies.shows, this is working because we're providing a context. We're saying, okay, go to the database called movies, find its table called shows, and then show all of the columns inside of there. So that's one approach to this. The um, next one, oh, my comment character strip that out. Um, so our next one is we did show columns from movies dot shows. That one worked for us. Now it's worth noting that you can also use describe in here the same way. Describe columns from movies dot shows. Not from. There, <laughs> that's the equivalent. So describe movies.shows. So you give the table that you want to describe. And I forgot my semicolon right here. So when you're writing multiple commands inside of here, it's important to note that you need the semicolon after each one of these lines. So show databases gives us the databases. And then these next two lines, these are the same thing. So show columns from movies.shows. 
and describe movies.shows. Those are going to do the same thing. Okay, so here is describe movies.shows. There's the four columns, their data types, the primary key, the auto increment, and then show columns gives us the exact same thing. So those two commands are interchangeable. So I just added those quickly as comments. Now, moving on to the next one, um, the way that we can do this without having to put movies here is we can explain to the system that what we want to do is we want to start looking specifically at one of the databases and then all the queries that I run after that point are going to be talking about that specific database. So use is the command that we want here. Use movies tells MySQL everything that I say from this point on what I'm talking about is the table called or sorry the database called movies. So now that I've done that I can say describe shows or show columns from shows. Both of those will work. So I'm going to copy that. And there we go. So describe shows all by itself is working now because we did use movies. So use movies has achieved the goal of giving us focus on that one thing. Okay, there's those commands. Now, the other one that I wanted to talk about, or the next one that I wanted to talk about, was explain. Now, we can say explain. It's similar to show and describe, except with explain, we're talking about running a query, like a select statement, an update, an insert, or a delete, or a replace, and how is this actually working? What's the information about the query? So we'll say select star from, we're talking about movies here. This is the database that we're looking at. So let's look at the table shows. So select star from shows where uh, show title has a letter A inside of it, we'll say. And we'll run that one. And here it is. So this is the query. Explain this query. So how is it working? Well, it's a simple query using the table shows. If we add multiple tables in here, there will be one row inside of here for each one of the tables. If there's any partitions on the table, uh, the type, uh, whether it's going to be a join, possible keys, key, if we are using different indexes or keys inside of here, like the primary key, we're not using that as a criteria here, but we can do that. Uh, we're going to get some information there, and it'll tell us if we're using the order by or the where, the different parts, um, the predicted number of rows, all kinds of information like that. So let's uh, come up here, and I'm going to comment out these other things so I don't have to scroll quite as much when I'm looking at the results. Okay, so let's say explain select star from shows where show ID is greater than four. Order by initial year. Okay, so this is the query we'd like to run. We'd like to know how this is working. We'd like to know if there's keys being involved, if there's multiple tables being involved. Oh, misspelled initial. There we go. Okay, so here's the query. And this time we're still using the table shows. It's a range. It's not all. We're not getting everything inside of there. Uh, Possible keys being used, the primary key, yes, that's what we're using, the primary key, the key length, so the it's an integer field, there are four bytes being used, and this is the number of expected rows, filtered, it went through 100% of everything and filtered, and it was using a sort, and it used the where clause. All right, last step in this one, what we're going to do is we are going to, let me expand this a little bit more again. 
All right, so what we're going to do this time is I want to create a variable. Now there are system variables and there's user variables. If you want to uh, use one of the system variables, they start with two ampersands like this. Select baster. So select baster and this is a variable that is actually defined as part of the system. So I can use this variable inside of a function or inside of one of my queries. Uh, if we take a look inside of here under variables. So base dir, that's what we're looking for. If we go into variables, there it is right here. Baster. And we can edit it through here. We can change it as well. But this is the value and this is the value that we were getting in our query. So we can get access to any one of these variables. There are many, 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 many system variables. So as you start to do things that are a little bit more advanced, you work more on the DBA side, you start creating and managing your database, you may come across some of these. You may want to change some of these. So again, that is system variables. Start with two ampersands. Now, if I want to create one of my own, I can say set and then a single ampersand. And then you put an expression over here. What is it you want it to be? Well, I can just say something like that. Then if I want to see the results, I can include it as part of my query. I can say just that, that will run. And there it is. There's my column name. There's the value for my variable that I used. Um, you can give aliases because it's just like any other query. There it is. There's your alias and there's the value for it. So this one, I just put a string inside of it. I can actually retrieve something from a database and put it into a variable if I want. So let's say uh, I want to set some ID, a variable called ID. I use my brackets. I'm not just using a string or a number or a date. So I do want to put this in here so it is being interpreted as an expression. But let's do this. Let's select movie ID from and again, we're not inside of anything, so I'm going to add the use command here. So now we're looking at specifically the database called movies, and we're going to look at the table shows here, or movies. So movies inside of movies. So select movie ID from movies, and we're talking about the table movies, where release year. I think that's the column name. Let's double check. Oh, it's just year. It's greater than 2010 and limit one. Now the reason I'm putting limit one here is that you can only put one single value into a variable. This is an important distinction between uh, MySQL variables and anything else that you're working with. Any other programming language, PHP, JavaScript, whatever. When you are putting something into a variable, you only have the data types, string, number, and date type. That's it. You don't have arrays or objects or other things like that. Now we do have JSON that has been added into P, uh, into MySQL. I will be doing a future video on JSON within MySQL. So if I'm going to select the ID, there we are. I'm going to run this again. So there's our hello. We're going to run that, get the hello, and then our next one, there we are. The ID number was five. So in the movies table, the movie ID for the first movie that starts, or that's greater than 2010, is movie number five. So let's take a look at that. 
We'll go over to Movies and browse through it. Number 5, 2012. The movie ID from the table movies, where the year is greater than 2010, limit 1. So the very first one that we get back was 2005. Okay, so that is show and it's alias describe or not alias but it does the similar thing explain and set all right so that's a, a good introduction to all of those if you have any questions feel free to leave them in the comments down below i will leave links to the references for all three of these things in the comments down below as well as a link to the uh, full description uh, or the full playlist rather for mysql videos all right as always thanks for watching